Hi, I'm Jeff, the Thrifty Overlander. In this video, we're gonna go on an adventure, so come along. All right, so today we're on the hike to Silver Lake. We parked at the Mayflower Mine above the Mayflower Mill. And we've got a, uh, I don't know what this is, 800 foot climb or so up the side of the mountain here. So this is our uh, path along here. It's literally just along a cliff. And then I'll pan backwards. We're up in kind of a glacial bowl. And back down there's the valley with the Mayflower Mill. And a Mayflower Mine right behind us with all the trams stations. There's got to be a couple dozen or more tram foundations along this route. You can see one right up ahead of us right there. So, unfortunately, for some reason, the air is thinner here than San Diego. Not quite sure why. We're close to, I think we're about 11,000 feet here. And we'll get close to 12,000 before we're over the top of this. So we're not too far up the way heading to Silver Lake. Apparently the growing conditions for tram tower bases is perfect right here. There's a whole bunch. There's literally 10 of them I counted from this perspective. And you can see from here it kind of goes up a wall. So it gets pretty steep in a bit. But man, is there a lot of trams that went up over this hill. Must be some pretty neat stuff over there. Still on the hike to Silver Lake Falls. This is the steep part coming out of the waterfalls coming out of the lake. We got some tram towers here. You kind of see the lineup a little bit better, the alignment of them now once you're up on top. That all went down to that big mill building down there in the middle. Lori tackling another one of the switchbacks. All right, we're kind of on one last switchback and then we hit the wall up there. I'm assuming that it's fairly obvious when we get there how to get through it and up that face of that thing. So they're fly, flying by the seat of our pants here. Hey, even the stopping on the side of the trail gets you right on the edge of the trail. So it looks like we found our way through the rock straight ahead right there in the middle. There's a rope in an area that has no flat area. We're going to have to use the rope to get out, it looks like. All right, we got past a little sheer cliff spot that had a rope to help us. So we're getting there. This is the wall. All right. End up scrambling up some pretty steep little crevice here. And then I think we get pretty close to the top. Here's a cable from the old uh, tramways running up this one. You can kind of grab hold of if you need to. So we are up over the top of the that wall that was there. And it kind of flattens out a little bit. And then there's kind of like one more uphill to hit before we get to the lake. It's clearing, huh? Thunder. All right, we made it to Silver Lake. What's left of the town over there? There's still some buildings standing, though. That's interesting. It's starting to rain a little bit. So. Here's the lake outlet right down here, and it is jammed with ghost town pilings and wood. This is the biggest beaver dam I've seen. There must be giant eight foot beavers up here. That's all I know. It's got to be. They did a good job of damming this lake. A little bit closer to the ghost town. I think the weather up here is not very conducive to shacks. There's some around though. There's still some intact. I got a couple of friends checking me out here. 
see them. They're not so shy. This must be their home. Another one's uh, sounding an alert. They're probably 50 feet from me. They're not shy at all. One of the uh, alerts from the other animals is telling them to kind of go hide, I guess. He's still curious about me though. One of them must live in that little boiler thing there. So once we got up here, the rain turned a little bit of hail. Looks like a couple of clouds we'll have to wait them out. Luckily some of the buildings were intact enough. The lake shore is just littered with a little bit of everything. Spools of cable, I don't know, compressor, boiler parts. They were not cleaning up on their way out. I imagine these guys lost their deposit. Towards the end of the lake, there's a big brick building. Man, they had to haul some, some of volume of uh, material up here, that's for sure. I imagine it's a mill building down there. It's got a lot of wreckage. It's um, quite a hike to get to it, so I'm sure we won't. Because it's got to, you got to go up this cliff of ways and back down. So. I think they might have had a few stamps in their mill here, just a couple. So during the rain and hail, we took refuge in one of the few buildings that's still intact. It looks like somebody else was here before. That's pretty... They lost their shoes and left them behind. So this building, I can't tell, it's got a center peak on it. It's got a couple of things hanging down. And right below these tracks, the steel bars that hold it up is brick it's for some extra foundation. I can't really tell what the object of this building is, but it does go up to a center cupola. And there is some steel rods in the rafters. So it's a different one I've never seen before. So and what's left of these must have been some pretty massive buildings. You can tell there was some tanks that were probably in second story or third floors or whatever that are just still sitting on top of the wreckage <laughs> of the building itself. I would love to see pictures of this when it was running. I'll have to do some research and find that and post it with this. There's just hundreds or dozens anyway of rollers all over. I don't know what this type of milling was here. Somebody will once this gets posted. These are all below the stamps. So there's some parts of the stamps laying them down, but none of them are upright and intact it looks like. There's just piles of ore cars laying there. <laughs> wow. So here's the building we were kind of staying in while it was raining. It's probably the most intact one by far. And we're going to start heading down now. Somebody had a pretty nice house, radiator for the heat. And you go up here, there's more of those rollers at the base and then the, the intact shack. I don't think I'd step in it though, it looks like it's ready to fall. So these have really collapsed, even the chimney is leaning. This uh, this building, what was what it was, had a cupola as well. There's a tank beyond there. They are very collapsed. I imagine the snowpack up here gets huge. 
and the winds. Kind of interesting mining equipment. It's like it, I don't know if it's some sort of centrifuge this type piece. Right here, this is a jug. Isn't it? Yeah, that's the, 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 the lip of a moonshine jug, right? Could have had cyanide or anything this like that in it, who knows? It. Sure, what this strap iron is with spikes sticking out of it. Wow. Must have been some goth dudes up here. <laughs> have this shovel seen better days. One of the more intact. This is where the foxes were living, somewhere under there. Some form of boiler system in there. Can't tell exactly. This is a different one than I've seen before. Some more of the purple glass. Ceramics. Probably somebody's toilet bowl or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Does it say American Standard on it? Okay. Kind of a look back at the town. Pretty amazing sight for what it takes to get here and what it took for them to get here. To haul this stuff up here is pretty amazing. It's a beautiful bowl, glacial bowl up here. All right, we're walking down. It seems a little bit easier this way for some reason. I'm not sure why. Must be the air changed. It's pretty in this little valley here. Kind of see where it drops off over that wall up ahead. All right, we're making progress. We're down to the group of footings for the tram towers. We got that far to go. There's our truck over there. So from below, these tram tower footings look like they're square, but they're really triangle. I guess that saves on materials. Only three sides instead of four. So here you can see different mix of tower uh, stands, the foundations. And then over there you got the ones going to the Mayflower that are all steel. Okay, we're getting close. Just have this little cliff walk left to do. And then around the bend is the truck. So it was definitely a challenging hike. If you're an avid hiker, it's just had some rock sections to get up that made it, would make it tough. I'm not an avid hiker, so it was plenty for me, but I was able to do it anyway. All right, we made it back down to the Mayflower Mill. I'm sorry, Mayflower Mine base. You can see they left plenty of equipment up here. See some of the equipment at the Mayflower Mine yet. One of the large ore cars or cart. Here's the trucks from one. I've been in this mine. There is several on the tracks just inside the mine. Small, this looks like a slusher motor, maybe. Small hoist, I don't know. Another, another big one. Wheels intact. And you look and you can see the metal hoist or uh, tram towers. Goes all the way down to that big building down the valley there. It's quite a place. Amazing what they did to get gold out of a hill of a side. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribe. We'll see you on the trail.